Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Aquarius, the relationship. Guys, I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this connection. Scorpio, I see that you might have hooked up with Aquarius on a trip somewhere. Maybe during some travel plans, maybe you were out somewhere. I think you guys may have been hanging out with friends. You guys could have met through mutual friends. You guys could have just met along the way in travels. All right. I'm showing that some of you guys have been together for a little bit and there's some need to add spice into your relationship. That's me and water. All right. So that's what I see here with the three of wands card. This is up right. I have the seven of pentacles here. I feel like this energy and really look at this, right? I feel like you did meet on, I don't know, there was some trip, something that excited you. But then I think real life happened. Scorpio's focused on something having to do with work or a project or or something that Scorpio is doing. So I see that the majority of Scorpio's time is focused on this thing that they're doing. Mm, Scorpio feels like, okay, maybe one of you guys are trying to move the relationship a little further along, right? But Scorpio ultimately decides, you know what? This is not the right time for me to move on. This is not the right time to move forward, I want to say. So we can kind of stay where we are and we're not going to go forward. We're not going to go back. We're just not. Like, we're literally just not. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. But I do see that you are focused on something landmark that you're trying to do. Whatever that means to you guys, okay? I feel like you're busy with work. I feel like you really don't have a lot of time for this relationship. And you're not interested in taking it to the next level. But it also seems like there's some disappointment here, all right? The cards are saying that it's hard enough. I think this has to do with work. It's very hard for Scorpio to... Do all the work that they need to do and maintain a relationship. It looks like Scorpio is making a choice. All right. Although, see, but let's take a look and see why. We have the King of Cups, right? So this is, I guess, a big thing. This is King of Cups. So this is about communication. All right. Scorpio is definitely blessed to be with somebody who's like an Aquarius. All right. There. Whatever. Okay. Now he's talking to whatever. Right. So Scorpio's like, I'm so blessed to have you. You're like... You know, you're stable. You are, da, 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 da. You're, you're an A, I'm a B. Like, we just wear in sync, whatever. All right? So I feel like there was this passion there. But you're being asked to have more compassion because it looks like Aquarius needs that. Also, we get the King of Cups. It says that one of the things that is bothering you could be Aquarius not opening up or you're not opening up. <sighs> Scorpio, is that an excuse? You're not opening up. But really, you don't have time to open up. So I, I'm not going to lie. Over the last, I don't know how many months, I've been feeling this Scorpio making excuses for certain things or, or putting it back on somebody else. But this, but that, but that's now Scorpio's too busy anyway. So it's like, it's almost like it's a relief to Scorpio. Oh yeah, you were busy, but well, whatever. Anyway, so I feel like that's what this is here. Scorpio is just, is having some second guesses about this connection solely because of miscommunication, all right? Also because of what it is that Scorpio is doing. So just to clarify that, you might get some other excuse from Scorpio Aquarius saying, no, this is the reason. Really, Scorpio is just as busy as, as everybody else. All right, so now let's take a look at Aquarius. Aquarius is energy in this relationship. Um, I feel like something fell apart for you. I feel like everything was in sync for a little while. You thought the relationship was going to be better, but ultimately you stepped in, I think a few times. And you tried to fix things before they actually fell. And I think it did work a couple of times, but ultimately it didn't work. But the thing is that the pain in this card, the tower reverse is not, it's, it's there, but it's really, it's almost like relief again. I knew this was going to happen. I saw it coming. I tried, I tried, I tried. Like you can't beat yourself up because you did try, right? But ultimately you knew that there was something that had to change. Like you're like, I, it fell. I saw it, but it doesn't hurt you because you saw it coming. It does hurt, but it's not as bad. It's not as tragic, not as traumatic. All right. So that's what I have for you with the tower card. All right. The card here is also telling you, Aquarius, that it's okay to, to accept some sort of change. This is Scorpio. All right, the tower reverse. So you, it's okay to accept the change if that's what you need to do. We have the Knight of Swords here. This card talks about Aquarius focusing on the more aggressive side of their personality. 
all right now with this card i see that aquarius could be and this could be having to do with work or whatever all right i just see that there's some sort of energy here where it's um i don't know fast a lot of changes right we do have the tar then we have the knight of swords reverse so this card is pretty much telling us that because you oops, sorry guys because you saw this whole thing coming there was some and I don't know if this is Scorpio's response to this behavior here. I feel like maybe you were pushy about a situation. You were pushing people to the extreme. I think this had to do with work, too. You're pushing people around you. You're pushing Scorpio. And I think that might have created a little bit of reluctance as well with the I'm not going to. I don't know if I want to move forward with this. So then we have the strength card reverse. So I see with all this going on, there's some question in your own confidence. And the funny thing is here, the cards say you actually need to work on your confidence. Right, because it seems like you have little very just very little trust in yourself and your ability. So that's something that you need to work on. Um, I think here because we have somebody who's big is busy and then we have somebody here who's insecure who saw things falling apart. You know, I'm just trying to figure out I know we can confirm that there was some kind of a change here because of the Knight of Swords reversed. But I still feel like you might actually be I don't know if you're struggling a little bit. This comet energy here is the queen of swords all right <sighs> i think you guys are ready to break up i mean this one to me is pretty cut and dry this card the queen of swords talks about two people who are very intelligent probably i don't know you guys could be nerds or whatever very intelligent people very stable but for some reason you just can't get it together with each other one of you guys could actually be a single parent um one of you guys could have actually lost somebody recently, somebody close to you. It could have been a spouse, it could have been a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. All right, so some that's the situation for some of you guys. This is not for everybody. But at the end of the day, the conclusion of this, with both of you guys, the common energy is I need to stay single. I want to stay single because I want to have freedom. All right, I don't feel like I can be my authentic self in this connection. I think there are a lot of restrictions here. I think there's a lot of... Um, I, I don't know. I don't want to say untrustworthy. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. It's not untrustworthy. It's just, I don't know, because you guys are very trustworthy. It's just that for some reason you don't connect and you choose to stay single. And it's solely based on the fact that you want freedom. You feel like if you're with each other, you won't have the ability to be free and express yourself. Oof, okay. That one was a little weird to explain, but... All right, let's see what the common energy is here. Are they going to stay single? Or are they going to keep looking? Oh, tell me about Scorpio and Aquarius. I'm going to use these guys. Tell me about Scorpio and Aquarius, please. Right now, I'm seeing that there is some, uh, some disappointment. I'm seeing that you guys are going to stay single, or maybe you're opting to stay single at the moment. All right, hold on. Love yourself first. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Staying single. All right, so you can work on yourself. That was a common theme here for both you guys with the Queen of Swords. Opt in to stay single so you can, uh, I guess, I don't know, do all the things that you want to do. Okay, that came out. Yeah, that came out reversed. Yep, so we do see that. That's consistent. There's a focus on yourselves. It's safe for, is it? Okay, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. It's reversed. I don't know if you guys are really... I don't know if it's time for that yet. Give me one more. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah. You know what? All these things came out in reverse. Love yourself first. That's an area of opportunity. It's safe for you to love. You have to work on that too. Because that's a part of you not feeling like you deserve it. Right? And then you deserve love. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done on both ends. I think one has some sorting out to do with whatever this one's doing. But I still feel like this one, Scorpio, is still watching Aquarius. But I feel like Scorpio is watching Aquarius cry. You're being advised to have a little bit more compassion. Be a little bit more empathetic, okay? Because I feel like Scorpio is being a little... You're being... I don't know. Maybe you're not being very nice to your Aquarius. I don't know if I could have these mixed up, but I think you, you don't mind watching them cry. I don't know what's wrong with you. But whatever that is. All right. Yeah, well, give me one more. You deserve love. All right. Isn't that interesting? 
wedding. This situation involves marriage. This is not the right time to move forward, Scorpio. The tower card, the wedding, the diamond. I don't even know if you can. Can you see that? I got the diamond. The wedding, the diamond. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh. I'm wondering if some plans were put off. Let me make sure you see that loud and clear. Wedding. Wedding is upright. This involves a wedding. Something fell apart. You guys could be married. You could have met on a trip. Somebody could be on the verge of doing something. And then I feel like somebody's having some issues because they don't have any confidence. They're actually becoming aggressive. So, you know how some people who have a ton of money but they don't have any confidence? Right? It's kind of like that. There's like no confidence. I don't know, guys. Whatever this means to you, I find this very, very interesting. Oh, yeah, I get my purple pen. Bye bye. Send romance to Ro. It's called a plug. All right, so yeah, that's all I see for now. Let me just, you know what? Okay, this is what I wanted to get through this part. Let's have fun now. Okay. Right, let's just pull some random cards. 11 minutes. All right. Give me one for Scorpio. Travel. Oh, this is just, what is this? All right. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles. Ooh, and career advancement for others. Yep, that's Scorpio. Travel, and that was the first card that came up. I think that's how you guys met, on a trip somewhere or through friends. Okay. Give me one. Oh. Okay. Now, okay. Opportunities. <sighs> Aquarius, an important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress to impress. Some of you guys might have an opportunity to uh, get that position that you wanted. I feel like there might be some some signs of some signs of it could happen. It might be delays, but opportunities are coming. But I think you guys are gonna I don't know get paid, dressed and pressed. You probably have an interview. Give me one for the uh, common energy for this couple. Common energy for this couple. Um, energy for this couple mm, nature interact with nature in the outdoors around animals farmlands or by the ocean this will be good for the soul and healing for you yeah you guys have some healing to do i feel like the only way you're going to come together with this situation to either keep a marriage going or actually get married is if you focus on these things focus on the fact that love yourself first i feel like that's definitely an issue for both you guys okay um, this next one here is safe for you to love. You're questioning every single thing here. You deserve love. So once you straighten all this out, maybe this wedding that you desire will happen. Hmm. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to Zim Romance Tarot. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me... There you go. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. Okay. Wait, is there anything else I want to pull? Oh, okay. I will. I'll pull these. Why not? Give me one for... Uh, give me one for... Uh, give me Scorpio, please. Give me Scorpio. Give me Scorpio. Affirmations. Mm-hmm. What? Okay, Scorpio, what is going on with our diets? Okay. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations, okay? Um, so, affirmations. Some of you guys have affirmation books. Some of you guys reference Bibles, whatever it is you use for your affirmations. Do your affirmations. Say your affirmations, all right? That's how you manifest what it is you want. You just can't sit and expect things to happen to you. What do they say about faith? What all works, right? Dietary change. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. Maybe some of you guys have fallen off because over the months I've been seeing that Scorpio has not been... Listen, Scorpio is always... When I tell you about that life, <laughs> the reading... The books, the meditation, like that's really real for a lot of Scorpios. I mean, we all may practice those those things in different ways, but, you know, we, we do love nature. We find, you know, dietary change. I'm not surprised by that at all. Maybe you guys are re-looking, re or let's say re-looking, oh my goodness. Maybe you are reviewing 
what it is you eat or how, whatever. I don't know what, it's something new about your eating, something that you guys are going to eliminate, something you may change, whatever this means to you. But I have been seeing a lot of dietary changes with Scorpio. The last couple have been vegetarian, so I'm not surprised by that at all. Whew. Okay, now give me, just give me two for Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like I'm glad I added these to them. Okay. Because now that we know you guys broke up, we may as well, let me show you how to meet somebody new. Let me stop. <laughs> Yeah, let me show you how to meet somebody new. But it does say um, some things that you need to work on in order to achieve what you want, which is this wedding. You need to get up and smile. Goodbye to the old and hello to the new. Oh, this is Aquarius. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Right after the breakup. Oh, Scorpio, you mad, huh? Hold up, let me see. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. Aquarius. You see that? There's a new beginning and you have to admit some things to yourself. Which is, again, we see here that a lot of some work that needs to be done for both of you guys. Alright, uh, that's all I have for you. Just wanted to throw that in there. Thank you guys for tuning in to Zim Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Okay, guys. I'll see ya. Bye.